icon. Hello everyone and welcome to this video from ICOM. My name is Aaron Kemp and I'm the Manager of Sales Development in the International Sales Division here at ICOM Inc. Headquarters in Osaka, Japan. Today we're here to show you how ICOM can provide a number of communication solutions to the utility industry. As we all know, utilities are an important backbone service and can affect our daily lives if the supply of water, power or other essential services is disrupted. However, despite the best efforts to ensure no disruptions to these services, sometimes Mother Nature can throw a spanner or a wrench in the works and disruptions can and do occur. It is during these instances and in times of disruption where utility operators rely on their communications networks and the people out there in the field operating to fix the problem. And they can be deep in country or high up in the mountains. Just as utility operators have fail-safe and backup systems in place, ICOM is proposing here today communications redundancy. And the ideas we're going to show you are not just for backup, not even double backup, but triple backup. So, what do we mean by triple backup? These next keywords will make it clear. LTE, hybrid IP, and satellite. Let's begin with ICOM's popular IP transceiver series, the IP501H, which works on existing 3G and 4G LTE networks. This little compact device allows you to talk anywhere there is a cell signal, uh, which basically means you can talk nationwide. The IP501H looks like a transceiver and was designed with this in mind. For example, features like emergency call, man down and lone worker functions have been brought over from a popular IDAS system. And when your workers are out in the field fixing something, of course, their safety is of paramount importance. However, we have also not forgotten the cellular side of the system. For example, a feature which is unique to this IP501H is the ability to talk in full duplex mode, which we like to call simultaneous talk listen. And the voice clarity is superb. Hi Ari, let's show everybody how good the audio is on this little unit. Hello Aaron, I'm hearing you loud and clear. How are you doing in Osaka? I'm doing quite good in Tokyo. Uh, it's raining here today, but apart from that everything's fine. And for more information on the IP501H, please see the link below. Next up, is our hybrid IP radio series called the IP730D and IP740D. And as I briefly mentioned, this is also based on our RF digital narrowband system called IDAS, which has been a popular solution now for more than 10 years worldwide. The two-way radio industry is shifting towards LTE-based systems, and ICOM was quick to align with this with the IP501H. However, Two-way radio has been in our DNA for over 60 years. Therefore, in a quietly brilliant way, ICOM thought, why not match RF and LTE in the same box? And the result was the IP730D series, a combination of NXDN, LTE, and good old-fashioned analog FM. Now, I'm sure everybody watching to this point is thinking, brilliant ICOM. Not only can you provide nationwide LTE, but also where there may be cellular dead spots, the ability to communicate with NXD and digital mode, and only with the addition of this device. Another quite brilliant feature is the bridge function. The utility could already have an NXD and RF system installed, and with the addition of this device, gain the coverage of LTE. But in cases where there may be no LTE coverage, the utility operator could then use the bridge function in NXDN mode 
where one of the radios could act like a repeater-like device and extend the coverage. This terminal is also smart in the fact that you could have one person talk in an LTE mode and the other one in NXDN mode. Quite brilliant indeed. And for more detailed information about the IP730D series, please see here. Okay, so far we have covered scenario or backup scenario one, which is using the IP501H and LTE networks, or backup scenario two with the IP730D series, where you can have a combination of LTE, NXDN, and if required, analog FM. We should also mention that these solutions can be added gradually to your system if that's your preference. Now, you probably think that we have backup and coverage pretty much taken care of. However, as I mentioned at the beginning, Mother Nature can disrupt even the best of backup plans or radio systems. And this is where the statement, the world is not enough, could have a certain meaning. It is highly likely that a natural disaster could A, disrupt the utility service, B, knock out the LTE infrastructure and the service, or C, knock out the RF infrastructure and all of this at the same time. And in such a scenario, literally the only option is to go to outer space. And that is where the ICSAT 100 and the mobile version, the ICSAT 100M, comes in as the third part of our triple backup presentation. What is the IPSAT 100? It is a satellite PTT transceiver that works on the Iridium satellite network. Iridium is one of several satellite network operators, but the only one that covers the entire globe, including the North and the South Poles. And ICOM and the ICSAT 100 is the only PTT transceiver that operates on the Iridium network. All the ICSAT 100 requires is a clear view of the sky, and it can talk to another SAT-100 virtually anywhere. Of course, a rate plan from Iridium is required to cover the geographical area which to communicate in, but apart from that, there is basically no limit on the coverage of this radio. And being a satellite system based in space, and apart from alien invasion, it's highly unlikely that any Earth-based disasters could render any part of the system unusable. Now, I mentioned that there must be a clear view of the sky, but that does not mean that you actually have to be outside. ICOM has a number of antenna options, like the AH-41, that will allow the ICSAT-100 or the ICSAT-100M to be used either indoors or in a vehicle. And for more information about the ICSAT-100, see you here. Now might be a good time to recap what we have told you. ICOM can offer the utility industry right now one, nationwide coverage over LTE networks with the IP501H, two, on plant, local, regional, and if the system requires national coverage and either NXT and digital or LTE with the IP730D series, and three, three, if all else fails, satellite PTT communications with the IC SAT 100 or SAT 100M. And finally, four, the ability to migrate an existing system to any one of these at your pace or as you see fit. Okay, now that we've shown you how resilient ICOM is in providing backup communication solutions for the utility industry, Maybe it's time to point out, for example, if I have one of these, one of these, or all three in a network, how exactly do they all talk to each other? And the answer is this little box here called the VEPG4, which is an ROIP gateway. To keep things simple, the VEPG4 could be best described as a kind of jack of all trades for radio, where it sits in the middle of the communication system and acts like a translator for all of the different radio protocols going on. Cross-linking anything from, say, a marine and an airband radio, to digital IDAS, to LTE, 
to satellite and all of it seamlessly. There is even a SIP server built in here that allows an IP telephone system be, to be connected to all of the systems connected up to the VEPG4. And another strength of ICOM is our dedication to quality production. ICOM has two world-class factories near our Osaka headquarters and we have always maintained a made in Japan policy. And we know from experience that it is important to have product planning, product design, engineering, production and support all into one place. ICOM has also begun implementing the latest in automated production technology with the ultimate goal to be an industry 4.0 entity in the future. Okay, we have come to the end, but ICOM hopes that you found this video informative and that we had the opportunity to put our product where our mouth is and let you experience firsthand the simply the best ICOM quality and solutions that we presented here today. So thank you all very much for watching.